Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing a new feature for AWS Network Firewall. AWS Network Firewall now supports reject as a firewall rule action so that you can improve performance of latency sensitive applications and improve internal security operations. AWS Network Firewall's flexible rules engine lets you define firewall rules that give you fine grained control over network traffic. Before today, you could configure stateful rules to pass drop or alert on network traffic. When drop action is configured, the firewall drops the traffic, but send no response to the source sender. This impacted TCP connections because sessions remained open until a time to live threshold exceeded. If you want to understand why packets were dropped, then you needed to spend additional time and effort to complete a trace route test or review your logs. With this new feature, AWS Network Firewall will allow you to configure a stateful rule and apply a reject action when the rule is matched for TCP traffic. The firewall drops a packet and sends a TCP reset, or RST, to notify the sender that the TCP connection failed. You can apply the reject action to firewall rules using the default action order, or you can set an exact order using the strict rule ordering method. There is no additional charge for using this new AWS Network Firewall feature, but you are responsible for any additional logging costs. This feature is available in all commercial AWS regions and AWS GovCloud US regions where AWS Network Firewall is available. Let's take a look at how this new feature looks in the AWS Management Console. I'm going to click on VPC here in the recently visited services. You can also search for VPC in the search box at the top. So click VPC. Over on the left side, you'll see the network firewall category. I'm going to click on network firewall rule groups. As you can see here, I've previously created a stateful rule group called my stateful rule group. I'm going to click on that. That will bring up the details of that rule group. You may need to scroll down just a little where you can see the rules that are defined for this group. Right now there's one rule for ICMP. I'm going to click on edit rules where you can modify, add, or delete rules to the rules group. In this case, I'm going to add a new rule. I'm going to select the protocol. And as of this recording, the protocols that are supported for the new reject action are TCP, HTTP, TLS, SMB, DCRPC, SSH, and SMTP. The reject action will be disabled if you select any of the other protocols. I'm going to select TCP. You can optionally define the source and destination IPs and ports, as well as the traffic direction for your rule. All the way down, you can see the new reject action, which I will select. Then click Add. You can now see the new rule displayed and click Save Rule Group. For more information on AWS Network Firewall, please go to the Network Firewall homepage listed here or see the AWS Network Firewall Developer Guide linked in the description below. Hope this update has been helpful. Thanks for watching.